right, so welcome back. We've got another day out here. Uh, today, I'm gonna try prepping up some of this stuff for paint, and hopefully if we have enough time, we can see if we burn down this place with that oven that I created. So, I guess we'll just start off with prepping the intake. I've already prepped some of the other items ready for sandblasting, so intake's the last piece left before we get rolling on that. So, let's get to it. All right, so, we're only gonna wanna blast a couple surfaces. So we need to make sure we don't blast like our holes that are threaded. So just these little ones up here, these are just through holes, so that doesn't really matter. And then we'll want to block off for the injectors. Because you don't want them to be all marred up from the sandblasting. So, what I've got here is some high temperature tape. This will allow me to tape off everything so it doesn't get sandblasted and then I can leave it on through the powder coating process and shoving it in the oven. So, I gotta find myself a knife to cut this, then we can get rolling. That should do good enough.
straight up made a mess. Whew. All right, I'm gonna clean up this mess and bring it back inside. All right, so next day we got everything started to wire up here for baking. We're gonna bake these smaller pieces back in this little oven just to uh, make things easier. We'll just set them up like that, bake them up, call it a day. And then we got the intake over here. She's ready to go on the chopping block. So that'll be the first thing to try to cook up. Shouldn't be that difficult. Tested this thing out yesterday, just bringing the heat up. So, so far, it looks pretty good. The wood wasn't getting too warm or anything. I mean, if I were to do it all over, there'd be some slight modifications, but. All right, so just in that time, it's up to 174 degrees, 175, 77. So, I'll probably get to 400 before we're even done hosing down the uh, intake. So let's go take care of that first. Else if we put the power back onto it. Here's the hoping everything works. So it's cooled down enough that we can go take a look here. Alright. Looks pretty decent. There's a couple imperfections that I don't like. Right here is one. It's like the valleys of this intake. Apparently like to gather a little more uh, powder than they needed to. But this side looks good enough. We've got one of the brackets. Got another bracket cooking over here. Then we got a bracket.
bracket there. Valve covers. One of the uh, motor mounts. And then the second motor mount over here. So, that's how our cooking's looking. I guess I'll get back to the cooking. All right, so that's the last of them. Looks pretty good. Well, that's just going to have to be good enough. Whether I like it or not, that's what I got. All right, so that's that. That's looking pretty good. Now I got some tape to clean up. Because apparently this tape isn't as high temp as they say it is. So, there's going to be a lot of work to be done on that. But, that's something I can do on my own. So, thanks again for stopping by and watching. And, yeah. We'll see you later.